I'll leave you with this. Understanding the mind of a free throw shooter that, you know, we look at Ben Simmons and say, come on. I mean, it's a free throw. You know, Carl Malone made himself better. Andre Drummond made. I mean, a lot of guys. The, the Tim NBA, Duncan. Tim Duncan. Yes. They, Tim, Duncan. Tim Duncan. But can how do I teach Ben Simmons to be a better free throw shooter? Therefore, in crunch time, he will want the ball and won't be afraid to go to the basket. Well, hold up. We leave it out Nick Anderson. Nick Anderson was an 80-something percent free throw shooter, missed those critical free throws in the, in the, the uh, on the, against the Bulls and never recovered. Yeah. Baron Davis wasn't a great free throw shooter, even though he was a great shooter. I think Baron Davis might have been in the 60s. You know, here's the thing about Ben. Ben Simmons is an outstanding case study of how fragile the mentality is of a person that plays sports. Because to me, 75, 80% of the game is mental. Here's Ben Simmons a few years ago, wasn't afraid to get to the basket. He missed the free throw, so what? He was ultra aggressive. When I watch him play, we played him last Saturday. I forgot he was on the court, Dan. I forgot he was even out there. <laughs> it's different if Ben Simmons – no, seriously. It's different if Ben Simmons had an impact on the game defensively. He was pushing the rock. He was getting all these assists. Okay, he's not scoring. But you, he has a presence and an impact. I think it's gotten to him so much mentally in regards to what has happened up to this point that it's built a block in his mind. He doesn't even look at the rim. And he's the kind of guy, Dan, and I used to always say this. In offseason and practice, he's shooting the basketball with confidence. He's in there knocking down free throws. In open wreck, he's doing it. But when the lights come on and you don't see instant success, when that first shot goes in, if it's an air ball or it clinks off, all of that work he just put in, throw it out the door. Because mentally, he's not strong enough to fight through that fact, coupled with what he's reading, what he's hearing outside the arena and around him. And it's tough because he's such a talented player. How do you correct it? That's a psychological issue. Forget about basketball. I think if something happened in his life, a roadblock came up, it would be the same kind of scenario in regards to him blocking that out and being less aggressive in whatever activity that was. I just feel that's his personality.